Welcome back to another Abs Daily News, episode number 23. It's Sunday. Happy Sunday, happy Friday. So today we'll talk about different things uh, around the Montreal Canadian Abs, uh, the NHL Combine, the NHL Playoff, uh, the Prospect Montreal Canadian. Stay tuned. I'm going to give you different things you never heard so far. But before we start, you know the real, please click on the like, subscribe to the show, sharing this video, and leave me a comment below this video. I promise you one thing, I'm going to respond to you. If you have some feedback, if you want to hear some contents, please let me know. I will do my best to bring it to you. Let's dive in and talk about uh, what is going happening for the episode number 23, the Abs Daily News. Uh, today, we're going to talk about the Abs news around the team. The NHL pick a flame for the Montreal Canadian overall. The NHL combine start this week. The abs prospect playoff. Where are they? What they are doing right now during the playoff. And then at the end of the video, of course, the NHL uh, playoff 2022. Some let's dive in. The abs news today. Calgary pick uh, 27 or the 26 overall. What are you talking about? We know the Montreal Canadian got the pick for the Calgary Flames during the trade for Tyler to Foley and return for Tyler Pitt Lake and MN, the first round pick and the four overall pick. And we have to wait until the Calgary, what are they going to figure out for the playoff? They got eliminated. They finished now the, the rules on the NHL. Every team finished first in the division of pushback at the end. So right now they was 28, but the Florida Panthers got eliminated second round and Calgary have less point of Carolina of the Florida Panthers. Now they become the number 27 overall. But if the Carolina Hurricane get eliminated by the New York Rangers uh, again number seven uh, Monday night, the Montreal Canadiens going to get the number 26 overall pick uh, and it shall draft 2022. If the Carolina pass and go to the third round, uh, but the Montreal Canadiens going to get now the selection of the Calgary Flame 27 overalls. Everybody asking me, what's going on with Martin saint we contract? Well, first of all, what happening is the, the duo uh, Hugo, Hughes, and Gordon was in Finland for the World Championship this week, uh, and they return uh, tomorrow, Monday, in Mantra. But both of them, uh, it was over there. We wish also uh, good luck for the gold, the medal gold for the Canada play against Finland uh, today in the final. So they return, but... They are going to go now on the NHL combine, so they're going to push back. I believe I know I expect the Montreal Canadiens sign Martin Saint Louis, and they announced this publicly between June 8 to 15. Plus, Chantal McAbee is on vacation right now. So, if you just look around what's going on, I predict at the middle of June, uh, Martin Saint Louis is going to be the new head coach officially for the Montreal Canadiens. What is contract? Three years, nine millions. The NHL combined this week, uh, they return. I'm going to talk a little bit about this a bit later, about the combine and what's going happening with the Montreal Canadiens. I'm going to, during the weeks, uh, during the abs new, uh, daily news, I'm going to give you a couple of information about the combine uh, to see the prospect every time. That World Championship right now, Joel Amir is doing well with Finland. I've already 12 points. Anderson is doing very good with Canada, but the surprise is Sean Farrell. Farrell was drafted by the Montreal Canadiens 2020, a four-round pick, and he have an amazing, great tournament over there with Team USA. A lot of people said a lot of good things about him. We know he returned with Avert University for the upcoming year for NSA, and then I believe he's going to be with the Montreal Canadiens organization. Don't worry, it's good to sign with the Montreal Canadiens. A lot of trade bait right now. People start to trade everybody, try to talk about this. They talk about Minnesota, about Kevin Fiala. Talk about New Jersey Devils, second overall pick. And talk about Chicago, about Kirby Dak. It's all about, for me, it's like, come on. It's conversation, understand, but why to open up the door like this? Can Montreal really afford Kevin Fiala? Do you believe with Kevin Fiala, the Montreal Canadiens is going to be a container for the playoff next year. Why do you take the money, coach? I don't know. You just tell me, because you just said you want to trade for Kevin Fiala. We're going to give the second, we're going to get the second overall pick. We're going to give the pick number 2023 20, possible. Or we're going to give uh, Caden Cooley or maybe Justin Barron, who are the best top prospect defense for the Montreal Canadiens. Well, let's go. We want Safkowski. 
Why not to get Shane Wright and Stavkowski together? Are you losing a great defenseman, the left D or RFD, maybe a top one or two? I don't get it. And then for Kirby Dak, if you trade, uh, if you pick Shane Wright, now you go to have Kirby Dak, you go to give another great prospect, another first round pick. People so they won't take Petri and, and Hoffman. They are not stupid, those other GM. You want the best prospect, but you don't go to give your own prospect. That makes sense. Sometimes trade bait for me, it's not what I'm looking for. Now, there's some people who want to think in maybe the Montreal try to, at least to try to trade Christian Devorak, Jeff Petrie, Joel Armia for the next couple of weeks a month. Something we have to follow up during the summer for sure. We'll bring to you. Some people thinking to, to you are free, Chris, let's talk with the Montreal Canadiens. Some now talking about Nizam Kadri, and some people thinking about John Klimberg. Some people thinking about Vincent Tracek. It's all great. But where do you get the money? What is going on with Carey Price? What's going on with Shea Weber? Montreal right now is over cap, salary cap for over $100,000. It did not full roster 23 players. I don't know, guys. And we do not talk about the RFA. We don't talk about UFA. So Montreal is not a great place right now to get trade bait and then, then UFA. We have to come down here. Prepare the right, the right summer. Let's sign Martin St. Louis first and then see what's happening. Let's move on now to the next one. The NHL combined return. It was canceled for the last two years, 2021, uh, 2020, and 2021 because of COVID. The last one, it was in 2019. This week is going to be May 30 to June 4. What's going on there? But the NHL team bring the fiscal people, the mid-school staff over there, and they make some tests for each players. Then also they have an amazing, insane NHL players. Many of them is going to have... 10, 12, 15, 20, maybe 30 interviews during the week. It's insane what the players. Remember, guys, you've been there. I've been there. What do you remember the first time you got interview in your life? How nervous are you? Those young men have to meet now all the GM and the assistant GM and everybody there one by one to sell themselves to the team. Why they want to play for the Flame? Why they want to play for Montreal? What they bring on the table? It's not easy. Those young men have to be prepared. The agent make preparation them about how do you do your first interview with them. There's a lot of, of work to do. And then they have 96 players. 96 players invite during that combine. 63 forward, 30 defense, and three goalies. So that's something we're going to follow up during the weeks every single day. We're going to hear more about what Montreal is doing, everything about that. And of course, they have its friend, uh, exercise and training during the weeks, and you're going to get results I'm going to bring to you all week, and I will do my best to have the best uh, countenance for the NHL combine. Really important for Montreal. They have 14 pick next year. Uh, the next one I want to talk about, if because it's Sunday, we're not talking about the, the ab prospect playoff. Where are they? They are still in the playoff. Where are they doing right now? And I'm, I pick everything about the... Canadian Hockey Junior League at that moment. We talk about the WHL, the OHL, and the QM. So we are right now in the, in the WHL with Edmonton or Kings. They make the final now. They're going to play for the final. And the winner of that going to go to the Memorial Cup. Talking about uh, Kaden Cooley. And 13 game guys, he has 14 points, 6 goals, and 8 assists. Cooley is not uh, recognized as an offensive player. But he's doing really well right now for the old king. And that team, with uh, they have a lot of great players. The goaltender, Kosa. Uh, we have now in the OHL, uh, uh, the team's called the Hamilton Bulldogs. They have two team prospects for the Montreal Canadiens. First is defenseman, uh, Arbor Ajak. We know he got trade. That's uh, when the trade deadline to go with the Hamilton for the rest of the year. And 11 game at 9.5 gold for Arbor and four assists. Uh, Pretty good overall, Arbor have a solid playoff. One I'm surprised is he's doing not bad. Look, you have 8.10 game is Jan Mizak uh, for the, also for the Milton. But I believe at 20 years old he is, with experience he got, he should have a better playoff, only three goals. We're going to follow a little bit more, a little bit disappointed about this playoff. Now we have to go to QM and we know we have a couple of teams. First of all, the Charleston Islanders have two players for the Montreal Canadiens. First is the 21 years old or 20 years old, uh, Simono. Uh, both uh, that team is on semifinal at that moment. He has 
12 point and 8 game at 3 goals, 9 assists. Great performance so far for Simono. But again, we have to talk about William Trudeau, another prospect defenseman for the Montreal Canadiens. Late pick for the Montreal. And he's doing great with the team. He has 7 points in 7 games, 3 goals, 4 assists. Uh, William is another underrated, I believe, in the on the affiliate uh, for the farm uh, prospect for the Montreal Canadiens. Now, about Joshua Roy, guys, and again, Sherbrooke Phoenix, that team play again the Charleston. So one of the three players going to go at the Memorial Cup final. Listen, 20 point and nine game. Joshua right now, uh, Roy, sorry, he completely burned the league with accumulation of his offensive side. Seven goal, 13 assists. And he continued what he did all year long. He had, what, 119 points in 66 games, I believe. So, uh, Rua, he is on fire, to be honest with you. Then the last one I want to talk about is uh, the goaltender for the prospect for the Montreal Canadiens, Jacob Dogs for the ORU State University NCAA. He was uh, named uh, the MVP for the Buckeyes uh, and the NCAA. So, congratulations again for Dogs. So I just want to share with you guys a couple of information about the prospect. The initial playoff, a second round, is not over yet. What? No. Because the New York Rangers uh, win at the Madison Square Garden. Big apple over the Carolina Hurricane. And Paris score 5-2. to two. And now we have to go to the final game. Game number 7, Monday night. And North Carolina. And the winner of this game is going to go to the third round. Final East Conference, again, at Tampa Bay Lightning. Every team, again, so far, win at the home only. The Carolina are 7-7 seven and seven at home and 0-6 on the road. And we'll be interesting what's going to happen Monday night. We're going to do the live stream, so join us Monday night, 8 o'clock Eastern Time with the Hockey Coach Luke Frenchy. So game number 7, Monday night. Uh, finally, what's next episode, Coach? I'm going to talk about the NHL Prospect 2022. And then I'm going to talk about the NHL Combine uh, this week. So stay tuned. Come join me Monday for another video at 11 o'clock Eastern Time. We do video for you guys for abs, daily news, every day at 11 o'clock. Uh, a lot of information for Sunday morning, I know. And hopefully you enjoyed this video. Before we leave, please don't forget to click on the like, subscribe to the show, and also uh, sharing this video. And leave your comments below this video. And finally, of course, you have greatness inside of you thank you so much for watching another episode of the abs daily news episode number 23 i wish you an amazing blessing day everybody <laughs>